Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Cratchit. If it's your first time here, subscribe below so you don't miss any videos. Let's get into it. Today we'll be speaking about resume writing. How can you make a resume that stands out in the pile? So the resume's job is to get an interview. It's not to tell your life story. It's not to explain things that don't relate to the job. Once you get the interview, you can explain yourself in detail. So you don't have to tell your life story in the resume and you don't have to include irrelevant things in the resume. Get the interview first and then explain yourself. A good resume is a resume that satisfies the three R's that is relevant, readable, and reviewed. Let's take them one by one. First is relevant. This is probably the biggest mistake I'm seeing in graduate international students' resumes. Is that the resume and what they have there in terms of skills are not directly relevant to the role. For example, if I'm applying for an accounting software, my relevant skills would be Microsoft Office, dealing with numbers, financial statements, Mayo or Zero softwares, these are relevant skills. Irrelevant skills that I don't want to put in my resume would be my childhood hobbies, projects that don't relate, like volunteering, where it's just taking half of the resume. Those are irrelevant skills, so you really want to make it relevant. Another point about being relevant is keeping it directly relevant to the role. For example, if I'm applying for an engineering role and I just graduated in civil engineering, a relevant experience would be a project I've done on university. Something that's irrelevant would be two pages of experience that doesn't directly relate to the role. Now, I understand in the case of graduates and you know international students, you would have done some volunteering, you would have done some hospitality and retail jobs. Having one position is more than enough just to demonstrate that transferable skills, but don't overfill your resume with positions that don't directly relate to the role. So if you don't have experience, focus more on the projects and any volunteering that directly relates to the job. The second point about having a really good resume is making it readable, meaning making it easy to read for both a person and a software. Most companies use what we call ATS, Applicant Tracking System. And that software scans your resume for keywords directly relevant to the role. So if it's not readable by the software, it's going to be really hard for you to make it to the interview. What does readable mean? Readable means good font, so it's not too small. I would recommend 11 or 12 point for the font. Readable means easy headings to read, so you don't have multiple headings where it's really confusing which positions you've had. Readable means clearly divided sections, so you have your summary, you have your education or work experience, and education in that order. So it's really easy for someone to read your resume and identify the key information. Another point about being readable is using dot points. Try to avoid long paragraphs and stick to one or two dot points per role, maybe three if you have to, and no more than that. Avoid the big text and keep it dot point so it's really easy to read. One last thing about being readable is having it short. Less is more, meaning one or two pages maximum is enough for you as a graduate or student to show your relevant experience. If you have three pages, four pages, this is not readable. It's really hard for the person to identify the key information. So cut back on the resume and make it one, two pages if you really have to. Most cases you can fit it in one page. The third and last point about the three R's, which are relevant, readable, reviewed. So the third point is reviewed. Make sure you review a resume in detail before you submit it. What does reviewed mean? Reviewed means no spelling mistakes. Always make sure that it's on the spelling auto check in Microsoft Word. Reviewed means no mistakes in grammar. Grammarly estimates 60% of all resumes have grammar mistakes. So double check it, read it with a fresh pair of eyes, makes it really easy for you to review it when you can read it again, not in the same sitting. And finally, reviewed means no mistakes. No punctuation mistakes, no spelling mistakes, no grammar mistakes. Have someone else, whether it's your friend, your career professional, your teacher, to read over your resume. So you really want to have that perfect resume that has zero mistakes. So there's no reason for the hiring manager not to contact you. Hope you found some value there. Again, to recap, it's the three R's, relevant, reviewed, and readable. Thanks for watching today's video. Subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next one.